Here's, here's an old L-Class Loco. This is the L1150. If you never buy my model train video I did a while back, I do have this Loco here in model scale, but in V on delivery. I'll show you the cap now. It may look like a diesel Loco, but it's not diesel powered. It's run by electricity. Show you the front of it and I'll show you the um, interior of the train, the motor and all. This was made in uh, service service in 1953, it's been around since. And then, now it's preserved in the Williamstown Museum. Is that the engine? Is that the engine in there? Is that the engine in there? Yeah. yeah. Can Dad have a look? Yeah. Oh. The old engine in, I'll see that inside. I'll show you the cab first. So what is it, Marcus? This is the um, the clutch. They pull, turn that to rev it up, to make it move. This is the brakes. That's also the um, dead man's control switches. They press it when they need to stop the dead man's switch stopping the train. And all the switches and stuff. This is the cab. If anyone wonders if the horn works. No, it doesn't. I'm interested. Yeah. Sorry, I'll see on the roof. 150, 150k. It goes. Yeah, so the motor is auxiliary. Yeah, so that's just because all the all the equipment, like the uh, motors for the um, air air compressor for the brakes, that operates on 600 volts. So that's the, the um, power like pass that goes. It's a motor generator, the motor is powered by um, 50 so 150 volts. Um, 150 mile now this thing goes. Yeah, so, so, so that's actually nothing to do actually drive. It's just still for the Panagraph up. Over here, grease set. Panagraph, you hold it. You want to put a panagraph out there. On the axles. Okay. Which is in the little section. You have to hold that down to put the panagraph down. That one to put the panagraph up. So each set of drive wheels has its own motor. It does. It does on this train. There's six six motors on the, on this train. Cool, cool. Traction motor. That's all be the white to tell you the faults and stuff. Yeah, that would be in the reverse and forward looking as a multiple, which way is this, that's off. That's forward, and that's going to be reverse. I would have given, there's no l cars around, so I'm trying to have the lock place. There's no l cars actually around for anymore today. You fold it and then turn the handle, and then you will force, obviously, pull the brake off, pull the R brake off, and turn that in and took off, and blow the horn first. Move that back in where I found it. Now. Yeah. Here's the um, motor. Here's the pipes and stuff. I can't get on this end of the cab train you see. That obviously goes into the other cab. We're not adding there, but. I've never been in a locomotive motor room before, but this is the first time. There's the other steam room over there. That's probably diesel there. This is the cog. I don't know what that does. It does work. That's obviously the relay. Relays to control the, the movement of the train. And the other stuff to control it. That's what these are for. I'm not really like them. Um, not be no like Yep. Motor driven by 1500 volt DC. Yep. And the power coming out for the generator here, I think it's at 600. The motor thing. That is um, 600 volts. Yeah. Or 60, but it was like 60. 
Yeah. That's obviously the um, generator ones, the air compressor. This is on there as well, the amps and stuff. Red, orange, blue, light, light blue, green, yellow, brown, pink, white, black and white, and no, blue and white, black and blue. So that tells you the wiring, all the hoses and stuff, it does the loco. Not very familiar with the locos, but I know it's an L class for sure. That's the PSI gauge, probably for the brakes. Western House symbol there, so this is a Western House I told that for sure. So on this end it runs the that's obviously the generator motor. I'm not sure what it actually is called but it's a bit dusty as well. England electric 115, it says on there, so 115 volts. That's the local number, as it says on the outside. Nothing on there. I don't know what that means, but that's the, copy the volt number, 115, so it runs on 1015 volts. I believe that's what it means. Made in Great Britain. I'll show my mum that later. Can you still photos of that? I'm pretty sure these are real. I have to ask what these do. I don't actually know what these actually do. The relays on here. That's obviously another type knob. What does something. I'm not sure exactly what it does. That goes through the other cab there for sure. But also this goes out to the main cab. That's obviously something. Hard to invite it, we'll find out what this does. My bad now. I think this might be for the paragraph, I'm not sure. Are these for the brakes, these things here? Sorry? Are these for the brakes again? Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm told that's, that's the blower motor. Yeah. So air to cool the traction motors. Yeah. There's not much headroom in these old logos no, either. You gotta watch your head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't like to work in 